You know that saying, jack of all trades? Well, that's the modern trail bike. It's the Swiss army knife of mountain bikes. Light and agile, you can ride them up and down the trails. With modern components making them both strong and light, and geometry that'll help you get as gnarly as you want. Trail bikes are the most popular category in mountain biking. Today, I'm gonna show you what I consider to be some of the best trail bikes on the market. And for this video, we're gonna focus on bikes that are on the lower end of the price spectrum. These bikes will give you the absolute best bang for buck. And we start right now. With a direct-to-consumer business model that gives customers the absolute best bang for buck by cutting out the bike shop middleman, Canyon comes out swinging with the Spectral 125 AL6. Canyon describes the Spectral as a wolf in sheep's clothing. It's a bike designed for riders that don't want a ton of suspension travel, but still plan on riding steep and gnarly terrain. Take one look at the progressive geometry and you'll see why. The 64 degree head angle is in the enduro bike territory and the 486 millimeter reach and size large will give you tons of room to move around the bike in the rough and chunky sections. The 437 millimeter chainstay length would keep the bike agile and playful and the 76 degree seat tube angle will get your body in great position over the bottom bracket for climbing. The 125 in the name refers to the 125 millimeters of rear travel handled by a Fox Float X Performance and up front you get 140 millimeter travel Fox 30 rhythm. Pair that with a solid Shimano SLX drivetrain and four piston brakes, this bike looks dialed. Where else do you see a 125mm travel bike outfitted with 203mm rotors? This bike means business. It rolls on 29-inch DT Swiss all-mountain wheels wrapped in Maxxis Dissector and DHR2 combo. The rest of the build kit is a mix of house brand Canyon bar and stem and some nice ergon contact points. The Spectral 125 is available in two aluminum builds starting at $28.99 and three carbon builds for you lightweight weenies. For just under 3,000 US, a sweet build kit and delivered right to your front door, you gotta check out this bike if you're in the market. For their value offering, Norco has the Fluid FS A4, a sub $3,000 alloy trail bike that punches well above its weight. Recently winning two very prestigious awards, Norco says that the new Fluid is built to help you become the rider that you want to be. It was named Bike of the Year by Vital MTB and Value Bike of the Year by Pink Bike, beating out bikes that are twice its price. The frame gives you a refined level fit and finish, and Norco pairs that with their Ride Align personalized setup. It gives you a really good starting point for how to tune the bike suspension before the tires even hit the dirt. An X-Fusion O2 Pro R handles 130 mils of rear travel, while the RockShox Recon Silver RL takes care of the 140 millimeters up front. What do you guys think about mixing suspension brands? Let me know in the comments. Me personally, it drives me bonkers. I'm sure there's no science to this and it, it probably feels just fine. But come on Norco, at least put a little RockShox Deluxe Select back there, or maybe even an X-Fusion fork to match. Am I the only one that thinks like this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Okay, enough ranting, back to the fluid. For gearing, you get the reliable Shimano Dior 11-speed drivetrain and a set of Tektro four-piston hydraulic brakes biting onto 180 millimeter rotors. It rolls on 29-inch stands Flow D wheels and Goodyear rubber. The Fluid FS A4 is built to over-deliver as your skills evolve. You get a 480 millimeter reach in size large, 65 degree head angle, 77 seat angle, and 435 mil chain stays. Available in four different level builds that cost up to $39.99, you can spec this bike out with as much bling as you can afford. All the reviews on this bike are great and I definitely recommend you looking into it if you're shopping for a bike in this category. All the bikes on this list have a limit of $3,000. They all have air suspension which is super easy to tune for your weight and they all have dropper posts. They're all super capable trail bikes. <sighs> What's wrong? Well. I'm shopping for a used bike on Craigslist, but people on here are so shady and flaky. Mm -hmm. I'm also kind of scared to inherit someone else's problems, you know? Yeah, that would suck. I don't want to spend all of this money and then end up with a bunch of issues to fix. I have no idea what I'm doing or what to look for. Have you tried the pros closet? The pros what? The pros closet. They're completely changing the way people buy used bikes. Tell me more. The team at TPC are all avid cyclists that constantly analyze the market to bring in some of the best and most popular bikes into their headquarters in Colorado. The pros closet 
Com. From there, they have specialist bike mechanics that inspect, restore, and service these lightly written bikes before finding them new owners. Each bike that comes through TPC gets seen by eight different technicians while it goes through their 141 point inspection. That seems really thorough. Yeah. They service the suspension, brakes, and drivetrain, and they replace any worn parts so that you don't have to in the future. Okay. This is all going in the right direction, but I've never bought a bike without test riding it first. How do I know this bike's gonna fit me? Good point, but they thought of that too. Before buying the bike, you can chat with their ride guides to make sure you're getting the perfect size for you. And to make it totally risk-free, TPC has a 30-day satisfaction guarantee. You don't like the bike? You return it and get a refund. Simple. Wow. This seems way safer than Craigslist, Marketplace, or even the pink bike buy and sell. Yep. Also, every certified pre-owned bike you buy from TPC comes with an 18-month guaranteed buyback offer. If you want to upgrade the bike in a year or so, you know exactly what it's going to be worth in a future trade-in. Sick. They have so many bikes to choose from. If you want a new-to-you bike this year and want a good deal without the risk, check out theprosclosset.com. They think all bikes should be used. All new this year with a longer reach and a little bit more squish, the Marin Rift Zone 2 looks really sweet and ready to take on anything. The Rift Zone is a dual 29er, 130mm travel trail bike with a 140mm Marzocchi Bomber Z2 fork and RockShox Deluxe Select RT rear shock. Again with that mixed match suspension, what's going on here? You get a Shimano Dior 12 speed drivetrain, Shimano MT200 brakes, Shimano hubs, and a bunch of Marin house brand parts like wheels, bars, stem, grips, and saddle. Available in 27.5 as well as 29er builds, you can spec out the Rift Zone to your liking all the way up to the Carbon XR model that costs just under 5k. You can pick up a Rift Zone from your local Marin dealer or get it shipped right to your front door from Bikes Online. Refined and reworked every year into one of the best and most popular aluminum trail bikes out there, the Commonsall Meta TR is definitely worthy of being on this list. This burly 29er rides more like an enduro bike than a cross-country bike, but stays responsive and playful thanks to the conservative travel and geo. This beautiful, sleek, and simple aluminum frame has 140 millimeters of rear travel and can be run with up to 160 millimeter front fork. While you can snag a Meta TR for under 2,500 bucks, my pick under three grand would definitely be the ride build as you get a dropper post, 12 speed drivetrain and air springs in your suspension rather than that untunable coil spring in the cheaper versions. With the ride, you get 150 millimeter RockShox Revelation and Deluxe Select Plus combo, 12 speed SRAM SX Eagle drivetrain, four piston SRAM guide T brakes, and Maxxis tires. You get a flip chip for adjustable geometry, but in low setting, you get a 64.5 degree head angle, 78.6 seat angle, 435 millimeter chain stays, and in large, a roomy 490 millimeter reach. Ranging from 2,500 to 6,500, Common Saw has a ton of builds on offer here. They're available all over the world and direct to consumer. The Meta TR is definitely one of my favorites. At the time of filming this video, this has to be one of the best deals out there. The Status 140 is on sale right now for $2,250 US down from $3,000. Available in two colors and five sizes and from arguably one of the biggest bike manufacturers in the world, the Status 140 is a do-it-all trail bike that's set up to shred. This mullet party sled has 140 millimeters of rear travel with a Fox Float X performance and 140 millimeters of front travel with a Fox Float 36 rhythm. Finally, some matching suspension. The no fuss aluminum frame is simple, burly, sleek, and compatible all at the same time. The two position sweep adjustment chip lets you quickly adjust the geometry for your liking. But in low setting, you get a 63.7 degree head angle, a 76 degree seat angle, 426 millimeter chain stays because of that smaller 27 and a half rear wheel, and an S3 sizing of 465 millimeter each. On top of that matching Fox suspension, you get a 12-speed SRAM NX Eagle drivetrain, four piston SRAM Code R brakes, an X-Fusion dropper post, and a mix of specialized components to round out the build. At 2250, the status is gonna be hard to beat. 
What do you guys think about this bike? Would you pick one up? The one bike on this list that might beat the status in terms of value is the Polygon Siskiyou T8. If you prefer a dual 29er that's a bit more agile, lighter, but not as burly, this bike might be the one for you. Bikes online always have sales going on. And at the time of filming, the Siskiyou T8 is on for $21.99. The T8 is a beast of a trail bike and great value for someone who wants an all-round bike to ride pretty much anything. Yeah. I've been riding this bike for the last couple of months and I've been loving it. Like the status, the sleek and simple aluminum frame is ready to shred with 135 millimeters of rear travel handled by a Fox DPS and 140 millimeters of front travel handled by a Fox 34 Rhythm. On top of that, you get a full 12 speed Shimano SLX drivetrain, four piston Tektro brakes and Schwalbe tires. The geometry is well rounded to make the bike a really good climber as well as a confident descender. You get a 65.5 degree head angle, 76.5 seat angle, 430 millimeter chain stays, and enlarge a 480 millimeter reach. The size small comes with 27 and a half inch wheels, 140 millimeter rear and 150 millimeter front travel. For large and above, you get 29 inch wheels, 135 millimeter rear and 140 millimeter front travel. And in size medium, the bike is actually available in both configurations. There's also a lesser expensive T7 model with the exact same frame available. Like I said earlier, I absolutely love this bike. And if you wanna see it in action, there's a video in the description for you to watch after this one. Bikes Online is the exclusive distributor of Polygon in the US and Australia, and they always have sales going on. For my Canadian friends out there, MEC is starting to carry Polygon. Or you can do like I do and just get a mailbox across the border. You just get the bike shipped there and drive it across the border yourself. With a new distributor in the US this year, Vitas bikes are now much easier to get in North America. And their short travel trail bike, the Mystique, is coming out swinging with four super affordable models. The bikes range in price from $60.99 to $25.99 and they all share the same frame. The only difference is the build kit. If I had to pick one, I'd definitely get the amp. It's got a, wait a minute, what is this? External cable routing? I haven't seen external cable routing on a high-end mountain bike in years. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments. Would you sacrifice the look and cleanliness of internal routing for a little bit more convenience? I don't know how I feel about that. The Mythique Amp has a RockShox Pike and Deluxe Select R suspension combo with 140 millimeters front and back. It's got a 12-speed Shimano SLX drivetrain with an XT derailleur, four-piston Shimano SLX brakes, and 29 inch WTB trail wheels wrapped in Schwalbe rubber. A few nuke proof components finish off the build and this thing looks sick. Set up tubeless, Vetus claims a sub 33 pound weight for this bike. Now that's pretty light for an aluminum budget trail bike. For geo numbers, you get a 65.5 degree head angle, 77.5 degree seat angle, 445 millimeter chain stays, and in size large, a 482 millimeter reach. You also get a flip chip to steepen the bike by half a degree if you prefer something a little more suited for tighter trails. Like I said, all the builds here have the same frame and all have air sprung suspension. They all look sick and would make great bikes for anybody looking to get into the sport without breaking the bank. The Giant Trance has been part of Giant's lineup for years now, and the Trance X 29.2 is a hard charging aluminum trail smasher that delivers the good at a reasonable price. The strong and lightweight aluminum frame has 29er specific geometry and a flip chip to set up the bike according to your riding style as well as the terrain. In low mode, the bike has a 65.5 degree head angle, a 77.2 degree seat angle, 436 millimeter chain stays, and in size large, a roomy 485 millimeter reach. The updated Maestro suspension platform is supported by a Fox Float DPS for 135 millimeters of rear travel, and a RockShox 35 Gold RL up front with 150 millimeters of travel. The bike comes with a 12-speed SRAM SX Eagle drivetrain and four-piston Tektro M745 hydraulic brakes. It rolls on a tubeless prepared Maxxis Minion DHF and Dissector combo, a set of 29-inch Giant all-mountain wheels, and the rest of the build kit is all Giant house ram parts. 
The Transax 29-2 is available in two colors. This amber glow orange and black, as well as a metallic black, and they retail for 2,800 US. Kona's entry into the affordable trail bike space is with the Process 13429. A capable full suspension bike with through axles, air suspension, a long travel dropper, and pretty much everything you're gonna need to get started riding more challenging terrain. Available in two colors, the Process 134 comes with a 140 millimeter travel RockShox Recon RL, and a RockShox Deluxe Select in the back with, you guessed it, 134 millimeters of rear travel. The aluminum frame is simple and reliable with external cable routing again? Is this becoming a thing? The carbon frames have internal routing, why not the aluminum frames? I wonder if it's just cost savings or if it has an other beneficial purpose. Someone out there has got to have a good answer for this. The geometry on the process is well-rounded without being too aggressive. You get a 66 degree head angle, a 76.5 degree seat angle, short 427 mil chainstays, which makes the bike super playful and easy to manual. Speaking of manuals, if you're interested in this bike and haven't seen it yet, go check out Jeff Kendall Weed's video on the process. Jeff shreds on this bike and nails some super tricky manuals that he hasn't been able to do on any other bikes. Go check them out. And finally, the reach in size large is a modest 475 millimeters. To build on the RockShox suspension platform, you get a reliable Shimano Dior 11-speed drivetrain and Shimano MT201 hydraulic brakes. I'd upgrade these brakes if you're planning on riding some super steep trails, but for blues and blacks, you're gonna get on just fine. The Kona Process 13429 is a great budget trail bike for someone who's looking to get into the sport. And while there are a few things on there that I would change right away, they might be perfect for you. And if you wanted to upgrade a few things, the $2,500 price point leaves you plenty of room to do so. I don't think you can make a value trail bike list without including YT in the mix. If you're after one of the most popular bikes out there, you should look at the Jeff C Core 2 from YT. Just like the specialized status we saw earlier, the YT Jeff C is more on the aggressive side of the spectrum with beefier suspension components, and just like the Marin in that you can get it with 27.5 wheels and 160 millimeter travel, or dual 29er with 150 millimeters of travel. Either way you choose, you get a beefy Fox DPX2 with piggyback and a Fox 36 float performance front fork as your suspension platform. This makes the Jesse ready to take on much gnarlier terrain than you probably have the balls for. It rolls on DT Swiss M1900 wheels wrapped in Maxxis DHR2s. It has a 12-speed NX Eagle drivetrain and four-piston SRAM G2R brakes biting onto 200mm rotors front and back. What more can you ask for? You get an E13 bar and stem combo and an SDG saddle with a super long dropper post. The Jepsi Core 2 is available in two colors, silver and black, but only when it's in stock. At $29.99, it barely made this list, but it's definitely worth the price tag if you're after a beast of a trail bike. So I had to cut the bikes at $3,000 for this value list. But what if you had a larger budget? In this video right here, I go over what I consider to be the best trail bikes on the market money can buy. Get ready to drool. I'll see you guys there.